Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Fatin Nur Shazlin binti Muhammad Rusli, S50758 and Nur Suraya binti Jamal Lulail, S51335. Today, we want to present our group assignment which is about papaya fruit. So, for introduction, the biological name of papaya is Carica papaya. The family name is Caricaceae. Plant is fast growing, arborescent herb. When it reach maturity after one year of production, new shoots appear at the lower trunk that develop into branches when the plant reaches its maximum height and when the main or top stem is pruned off. The stem is cylindrical, spongy, spot fiber, loose, hollow, grey or grey-brown color. 10 to 30 cm diameter, and the skull caused by fallen leaf and flowers. For pollination, firstly, pistillate flowers pollinate by staminate flower give equal number of male and female progeny. Second. Distilled flower pollinated by pollen from bisexual flowers give an equal number of flower and bisexual progeny. And third, bisexual flowers either self or cross pollinated with other bisexual give a ratio of one female to two bisexual. Now let's talk about the planting system. Firstly, the land preparation. We have to clear the fields and then plow and harrow alternately about two to three times. A well-drained upland is selected for cultivation. To avoid root rot, we have to make sure that the planting area and soil has a good drainage system. If we buy plants from a nursery, it will be in a poly bag. But if we take the seeds from the fruit, we can use direct planting method. Second, about the medium. The ideal growing medium must be low mean and have adequate content of organic matter with good moisture retention and efficient drainage. Next, about the plant life cycle. On the first day, the seeds are thrown in the soil. After two weeks, a small shoot grow from the seed. After two more weeks, it grows into a baby plant named sampling. Then, the flower spot have come. After some days, the flower petals fall off. Now, the buds turn into fruits. The next main point is about distance between plants. A spacing of 1.8 times 1.8 meter is normally followed. However, higher density cultivation with spacing of 1.5 times 1.5 meter per hectare enhance the return to the farmer and is recommended. How to plant? First, we have to cut the papaya in half Scrape out the seeds and then clean and dry them. Dig a hole half a meter across and fill it with a mix of good compost and soil. Now, we can sprinkle on some of our seeds. We cover the seeds lightly with more compost and then mulch the patch well. After a couple of weeks, we can start culling the weaker ones. We want to make sure that we have some female or bisexual plants amongst our seedlings, so keep enough of them. Cull most of the male plants. We only need one male for every 10 to 15 female plants to ensure good pollination. We should end up with one very strong and healthy female plant per bag. We could be picking the first ripe fruit within 10 months. So this is part of the plant. Leaf, female flower and male flower. So the variety have two variety. Exotica. Exotica has a large fruit size, popular variety for export. The fruit has orange, red flesh with pleasant aroma and high sugar content. The second is Sekaki. Sekaki, the tree has small bearing up to the ground. The fruit has a smooth, even color and freckle free skin and is attractive. The sugar content is not high. For the environment condition, the plant is optimum temperature for growth is between 21 degrees Celsius to 33 Celsius. A hard loam is perfect or sandy loam soil. Papaya grows well at 5 
to 7 sub pH. Application of lime at pH level below 5 is need to increase ground growth and yield. For farm management, fertilizer we use is NPK fertilizer. For young plant, more often fertilize younger plant with small dose of a full balanced fertilizer such as 12, 12, 12, apply 1 per 4 pound every 14 days on the soil of the tree, watering it eat well. Once the plants are 7 to 8 months old, Fertilize the papayas with 1 to 2 pounds of 12 12 12 balance fertilizer per plant every other month. Work it into the top layer of soil, past the tree plant, and then well water the tree. Weed management Employing labor to remove the weed manual by using kurpi. Mechanical method to control the weed we can use of heavy maturity machinery to plug the interspace. Use the mulching that the old dry leaf and other organic materials in the basin of papaya. Use the herbicide which is fluoralin or alachlor or butaclor at 2 kg per ha. As premergence treatment so after transplanting of papaya seedling during and amitrine 2 and 4 kg per ha respectively apply 3 months after planting of papaya followed by repeat application of the same every 2 months for pruning process wear the glove and safety glass take off all the dead leaf or the broken ones along with their stem by making use of loopers or anvil pruners. Then remove any soft or shoots which are sprout but from the papaya base. If the papaya tree is several years old, fruit production is slowing. Allow one shoot to grow after the harvest. Remove the main stem and stake the shoot, encouraging it to become a new fruiting stem. Disease management. Firstly, is black spot disease. The symptom is circular water salt or brown lesion on other leaf, leaf curl, and turn brown. The management is spray with floral protectant from the side such as lithium carbamate. Second, bisaterial cancer. The symptom is wilting leaf, water soil lesion and canker on stem. The for management, remove all affected plant. Next, pest management. Firstly, papaya fruit fly. The symptom is show yellow areas and drop from the tree prematurely. For the management, place a paper bag over individual fruit when they are small and leave the bag on until harvesting. Second is red spider mite trips. The symptoms, the insect attack shoot, young leaf and flower bud is cause spot and abnormal fruit size. For the management is spray with dimethyl and malachian 0.1% per hectare. Har Harvesting is the important knowledge that every farmer needs to know. When to harvest? First, pick papayas when we first see the green skin turning yellow. A mostly green papaya with only a small amount of yellow in the skin will not be completely right at picking. But, if we leave it to ripen at room temperature, it will continue to turn yellow and develop. The longer we wait to pick papayas from the trees, the richer and more tender the pulp. Next, how to process. Cleaning. Washing, rinsing and sanitizing provide the greatest reduction of potential microbial contamination. Grading. The papayas should be graded as per the size and color while discarding the others that are damaged and diseased. Packing Papaya should be packed in single layer cartons. Internally, packaging material could include shredded pepper. Papayas are best packed on their sides in rows with the stem end at an angle.
Mango Storage For local market, optimum temperature of 20 degrees Celsius was found both for ripening and satisfactory storage for 2 weeks. Storage below 10 degrees Celsius has been known to cause chilling injuries greater in mature green than ripe papayas. Transportation for local market, the fruits are transported in trucks while for distant markets, it should be preferably sent through railways. Transportation through railways is faster and economical. Papaya current price per kg. It is 0.55 USD per kg. Example farm in Malaysia. The Malaysian Agri-Food Corporation Berhad MAFC, started its papaya business in December 2006 at the permanent food production park at Lansang Pahang about 100 km east of Kuala Lumpur. Now, let's talk about the risks about this farm. The challenges in commercial cultivation of papaya in Malaysia are primarily in the management of pests and diseases including the bacteria dipak, fruit brown blotch, fruit fly and oriental fruit scales. Bacteria dieback is the most threatening disease without prophylactic measures for control. Management is through exclusion of the pathogen where the area is uninfected and containment where the field is infected and spread is curbed by culling of infected trees. Growing papaya on very heavy clays with shallow impervious subsoil in Lanjang presents another challenge. Agronomic amelioration such as risk pets are needed to make it suitable for papaya cultivation. That's all from us. We hope that we have shared a lot of good information and knowledge to everyone. Thank you.